Dude, you left your burger. It's wasting food. Hello. Secret book. Secret book. What are you hiding from me? I guess we're not quite done yet. Did I just add those guys to my Relto? Since they looked the same, it looked like those guys. Hmm. It appears to be an alternate version of the same vault, right? But with nothing in it. Not much of anything in it, at least. Father could move only. Uh, only could move only something with his words, but I could move books. I have. I have conquered the strain. Stream? The stream said to flow there on. Jesus Christ, this is horrible handwriting. Will now. They flow of their own will now. Flow where I. Hmm. The notes are, notes are torn. I've saved his life. It seems like she was writing her note and then she tore it up and started over, and these are the old ones. I said, I've saved his life. Did you did you save Kaddish? He alive now? Oh, do I do I look like that now? Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> halt! You've uh, something the law. Shit. There are the these are the powers of gods, and I now have the power. Is that all the notes? So it seems like Yisha saved Kaddish from dying. Is this a different world though? Like an alternate reality? Like what does this mean? Like the vault is... Uh. I was gonna wonder like what's the rest of this age like if this vault features... Well, at least it doesn't feature Kadisha's body and anyone else. I didn't see anything else to do here, right? I can do this! <gasps> oh, invisible wall. Oh. It's completely within our character's capabilities to make that jump. We've made that jump. We've made bigger jumps before. Usual puzzle solving, right? Just check the back of the... It, the vault doesn't work. Okay, never mind. Just want to check the back of the door in case they hit something there. I, I think this was them setting up more for future expansions that they then didn't make. Because the game... Because the, pro, the entire project was cancelled. More or less. So it seems like Kadish was supposed to become a character and not just a vague... Spectre. Like he lived and went on to do other things. Hey. Butterflies. Well, that's something. Now, yeah, the, the butterflies and the crack and the green means that this is the most dramatic changes this island has ever faced so far in the playthrough. This was kind of neat, but also kind of out of the way. But, like, the greenery and the butterflies and the giant crack leading to the abyss have definitely been the more dramatic changes. So this Relto is noticeably different in a way where at first the changes were passing me by without me even noticing them. 
You know what? I got something I want to try to do. Here we go. Oops, no, not, not that way. I wanted to see if they did an Easter egg. If you do the solution that happened in the previous game. Because they have to be expecting you to try this, right? Because they brought you to the location from the end of the previous game. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because of, of course they would do something, right? They were for, to reward you if you type in what was the end of game answer from the original Mist game. Hey, we're outside the window. Neat. It got really pleasant here very quickly, like in the last few, in like the last hour. The fountain was always nice, but the other details were like, I think my roof changed a little bit and stuff like that. But like now there's like, there's a fireplace, there's a bunch of greenery, there's a cool space abyss that just makes my brain scream. That's terrifying. Yeah, but it's not maybe maybe not include that in the list. Okay. I think I've actually figured it out. This is a weird quad segment zone. Okay, yeah, now, now that I've been back to the cleft, the, uh, oh shit, I'm trying to get my notepad and I'm dropping everything. Now that, I've, now that I've been back to the cleft and seen the hologram thing that Yisha originally talked to me via, I think I'm onto something here. Alright, so let's draw myself a circle, split into quarters, so I can reference this. This is like two circles inside of each other, then two ziggies. A line on one leg and a head. It's like a beetle. I think if I ent enter these symbols into the hologram, I'm gonna get something. And maybe that's where the ending's hiding. <laughs> Easy enough thing to draw. Looks like one of those things from like an old car or whatever. This one's kind of like a spiral. With the crosshair on it. And this one's like a, a Jesus fish television. Okay. So I guess it's more of a turtle, huh? So turtle, Chrysler, uh, crosshair, Jesus fish. Gotcha. God, it's a real bad fall. <laughs> it was it was already scary enough when there wasn't a ground under it, but then they added a ground and I'm like, oh Jesus. This helmet is silly. Eh. It lets Yusha know that I found everything though. If we ever find her. Poor person. Good thing we're immune to fall damage, which really asks answer that really raises questions about all the times where we avoid fall damage by warping out. I guess we're avoiding getting stuck. Danger. Nope, don't drop my notes. Nope, I need them for notes. <laughs> I need them for notes. Good word. Good word to have. Alright. I think I figured out the puzzle. I just had to figure out where the puzzle even was. I started looking for some kind of idea of what I might want to enter into the hologram thing because they brought me here and just, I, I'm still sticking to the idea that that left book is the cleft book. 
But if it is the cleft book, then there has to be something that lets me get the cleft book to link back or something. And so I was trying to find out what to do here, and the only input device, really, besides the journeys themselves when you get them, is the hologram device. So I started looking for some sort of answer. And of course the first thing to check at that point would be the chamber I just put all the totems back in. Because that was itself a circle, circular area, but it was also like the ending. And yeah, it's the same. It's these same symbols, but you know, only two of them are the same. How do I input this again? <laughs> How does this work? Oh, they just change magically. Okay. Uh, how do I know what order to put them in? Maybe their orientation. No, I don't know. I'll just have you be that symbol. You can be the turtle over here. Maybe if it's rotationally off, it doesn't matter. Because how would I know which way is up in that room? An ending has been written. You've done all that has been asked. You've traveled the full circle. You have returned to the cleft through the fissure. You swam among the stars and saw the remnants of previous journeys. You have returned, and the pillars were returned. And now one more of the Barro, the least, has been returned to Dene. You don't need to understand what that means. Only that the hand of the Maker has set it in motion. Now the circle is complete, and the tree has begun to grow again. The path is now open, and so the symbol of the journey must change. Now the beginning is tied to the end. Now you can go where you wish. The restoration of Denis awaits. The deep city breathes. Uru again. And I will be concerned with other things. The least are becoming greater. They will now also affect the restoration. Perhaps not the way others have planned. You've learned about the pride of Denis. The great writers of worlds were infected with pride that became a cancer. It grew quietly beneath the surface, but it grew until Denis could live no more. But those things have been told. You understand it well, I think. Let us end this cycle with rewards before we start the next cycle. Relto, the high place. Your age now. It was the first age I wrote, a gift for my parents, and now much more. It reminds me of another home, another place. I even placed the library in the place it belongs. But Relta will change. It will be your soul, showing what you are. Only I could write Relta. It's beyond what the Dene could accomplish. Keep it. Since your journey, wear this to show others what side you've taken, when sides are taken. When you wear it, you will tell all that you side with us. With Yisha, with the Baro, it will not always be easy. And another gift is here, a link to the cleft here in Tomana. You haven't been able to return here, but now you can. This book will take a special place on your shelf. This place is not meant to be shared. Return here alone when you wish to remember the cycle of things. Oh, I can actually click on the book. That's a trip. Yeah. <laughs> She's actually waiting for me, despite being a hologram and all that. All right, well, here we go. Returning. One final gift, something that no Denis writer has been able to do for more than 10,000 years. I alone can write this gift. I alone am chosen to do this. 
and more. This gift is what my father Atrus would have longed to give his grandmother Tiana. What Tiana longed for and danced for. The gift of life in the desert. has not yet been written. Rain is framed as a very monumentous occasion. Hey, it works now. Did I just gain rain? Here specifically or on the rail toe. Can I open this back up? Was that just their way of getting her the 3D model to escape me? So that I can't you know, to, to deal with how it how it leaves? It's raining. Yeah, the idea is that when it rains, the water level here rises until the whole bottom of the cleft is is submerged in water. And then at that point, it looks like the starry expanse. It looks just like the the rift you jump into at the beginning and throughout the games, and we also did to get here again. Oh, this is the wrong spot. I want to look around. That was kind of the last happy memory I had in the book, <laughs> as in the part I've gotten through so far, is that there's this moment where it rains in the desert. And Tiana's just so happy about that. Um... Well, those are terrifying looking. The ending has not yet been written. So that's the ending ending of the main game. There's some cool visuals there. Ah. They might have they might have done some really cool stuff with this game if they ever had time to finish it. Well, you know, finish adding the content to it for years the way an MMO normally does. Although the, f the two expansions I don't think are as good as the main game, especially the first one. But that makes sense, because the first one was probably just meant to add all that city area to wander around in for a, as a baseline for MMO, but its content is bad. And the second expansion, the first world's pretty neat, the industrial one, but the, the, the Truman Show world is kind of a bummer. It's a cool, really cool idea, and a really cool final visual when you get to see behind the curtain, but I didn't like playing it <laughs> at all, really. Uh, just because of the tedium of how long it takes to test any given idea and so on. But like, there's some cool stuff shown in the main Yisha campaign, just all throughout. Like, that was decently solid content, if kind of brief. I kind of felt like the ages during the Yisha part might have been of comparable length to ones from the main games, maybe. I don't know, it's hard to compare. But if that's the case, then that kind of is a rough thing for an MMO. Just because MMOs are, are something that some people are just kind of used to pouring time into. That's how you keep your audience interested long term so they can just like keep going and going and going so that they can commit to the MMO and be still around when new content comes out so that they can play it. Uh, but if the game could be beaten in like one day, then that kind of dampens that. That said, I, I would not mind having some kind of weird multiplayer online RP, uh, multiplayer online puzzle game where I just log in every three months to check out the new chapter and then log back out and that's just it. Like, 
me as a consumer, I don't mind a game that doesn't demand that much of my time, but has a release schedule where they plan on keep putting out new little chapters here and there, where I just kind of come in for a bit, then leave. Uh, but, but I'm just aware of the, the like the economics of how MMOs tend to work and how much of a mess it is trying to get them to survive on that scale. Like, without constantly keeping your, your audience active, MMOs seem to struggle. So now the flowers are growing everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, if you haven't, going back to the Book of Atreus adds a lot of context to this game. They might all add a lot of context, and even the second half of the book might add even more context. But, like, there's, like, stuff here that was in the book, which is interesting, because, uh, let me double-check real quick. Uh, to remember where I set the down the book earlier. Uh... Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, this book was printed in 1995. This book came out when I was five years old, and this game came out when I was, like, 13 years old. It's so, like, there's a gap of, like, eight years between the book and this game. But it features all these things from the book all the way down to this area that the first 60 pages take place in, and, like, even callbacks to, like, the rain making the flowers bloom and the cleft garden she has. I don't really see a graveyard, though. I could have sworn they buried, uh, Gen's wife in the garden. That could be wrong. But yeah, a lot, of little, a lot of little details. I just wish there was more to keep me going in the book, because aside from adding... Aside from giving lip service to these things and giving me more context for those mo these moments, uh... There hasn't really been a plot for the entire first half. And that's not been... I've not been psyched about that. It's like a sl So far, it's like a slice of life missed story. There it is. The cleft. That's probably everything in the game at the moment, yeah. It starts with the cleft and ends with mist. Isn't that kind of fitting? What do you look like? Oh, that's a nice cover. You can choose raining and not raining as options. It's, it feels wrong to have a left page linking page. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like... Yeah, they shouldn't have done that. They shouldn't have done that. They, they should just have this linking page, and then you can turn the page to the second page and toggle rain like a Relto book. Because that's, that's how my Relto works. Is you have this, then I turn pages to all the options. They should have done that. Because it, it looks really wrong after this many games to suddenly have a left panel. Linking pa panel. Oh, the Starry Expanse is gone. Uh, well, I got to see the ending. But I liked, I, I liked looking at it. And now it's gone. It, there's a there's such a visible like low detail zone where nothing happens specifically because that thing has to be able to happen. I can see the crack right there. You can still see the edges of it a little bit. So the last thing we got was rain. Slightly awkward because I made the green I made all the green bloom first before the rain. Hey miss or hey witness. But uh yeah. It's raining, it's blooming. I've got a fire that's sheltered from the rain. I've got butterflies that like to s breathe fire and smoke, apparently. I don't know. But yeah, this has been Mist Uru. Uh, it's interesting. Conceptually, it's interesting. It's clearly very ambitious, and it probably would have been better if it had more time, because they would have been adding a bunch of stuff to it, and that content could have been really vibrant, and as they were going, they may have might have even updated the previous content to iron out some of the edges and whatnot. Or there might just be more really cool content to outweigh some of the not-so-cool content. But most importantly, all these storylines would go somewhere instead of just dead-ending and then nothing else happens. But we'll see. I would say it's the worst missed game of the five that I've played so far. Six if you can abduction. And we'll compare it against a seventh when I go get around to playing... Uh, What's it called? Uh, Mist 5. I don't know why I couldn't think of a number. <laughs> uh, and while we're at it, uh, currently Cyan is working on another game that I, I think it's another open world, not open world, I think it's another like immersive puzzle game or whatever, whatever you want to call this genre. But I think it might be VR only. 
So we'll see. Uh, we're in the last $100 stretch to my monthly Patreon goal of getting to uh, me getting a VR headset. So if that goes through, then which it probably will by the time that game comes out, I guess I'll probably play the next missed game, even if it is in VR only. Sorry, it's not really a missed game. Although Abduction seemed to be a like after having played this many games so far and then looking back back on Abduction. Abduction seems to just be a missed game. Like, I think it feels like it takes place in universe, even if they didn't call it that. And they do use. There's the guy at the beginning on the hologram that does use Denis language, apparently. So maybe it just is in universe. Like, it seems like an Easter egg, but maybe it just genuinely is in the missed universe because it feels like it is. And it uses a lot of the same logic. So maybe the next game was also in the missed universe. I don't know. But we'll get around to playing that when I get a chance. Actually, I'll probably play it the moment it comes out, honestly, if I if I have VR, or if it uh, turns out to not be VR exclusive, and I and then then I'll definitely play it right away. We'll see. But this has been Uru. It just kind of peters out. But it's a it's a cool visual ending. It's unfortunate that just the narrative is clearly saying uh, that there's going to be more that happens. And also, it ends on the note of, like, it doesn't matter if you don't understand this. And I'm like, oh, that's a bummer thing to hear at the end of a game. It doesn't matter if you don't understand what's happening in the game right now. was a weird note. But I guess more was going to come, and then Ubisoft shut it down. Thanks for watching, like always, guys. And I'll see you next time.